Hello, Peace Kids. Welcome to Children's Church for December. Can you believe it is almost time for Santa Claus? And that means that we are celebrating a very special, special birth this month, baby Jesus. So we will explore baby Jesus all month and his birth story. Let's get started today with our candles, with our acolyte. I will light the candles for us. This is how we bring Jesus' spirit into the room with us. If you have a battery-operated candle or a flashlight nearby to have Jesus in your worship space, go ahead and light that candle. Or maybe you have a baby tea light from Freedance. Then we open up the Bible and we are ready to worship. The next thing we do is greet each other with Christ's peace. And we say the peace of Christ be with you and also with you. Look around, who's near you? Can you give a high five or a wave? Good job. So be so excited. This, this children's church has two stories. And I think we're going to continue to have two stories two stories every week. So the first one will be about how Isaiah in the Bible proclaimed that Jesus would be born and then Mary, Joseph's mother, was told, you're going to have a baby. Those are our two stories for today. So the first one is called A Child Called Emmanuel. It's read by Miss Mary. Here it is. Hi. I'm Miss Mary, and I'm going to read a story out of the Sparks Story Bible for you today. It's called A Child Named Emmanuel. King Ahaz, the king of Judah, would not listen to God. He wanted to become friends with people from another country who didn't believe in God. God knew that was a bad idea because the people in the other country really wanted to hurt King Ahaz and his people. God warned. God pleaded. King Ahaz would not change his mind. He wanted his own way. Ask me for a sign, God said. Then you will know that I'm your God. Then you will listen to me. God sent a prophet, Isaiah, to talk with King Ahaz. Isaiah did what God asked him to do. His job was to be God's voice. Isaiah warned King Ahaz that bad things would happen to him and to his people if he did not listen to God. Isaiah promised that God would protect King Ahaz and his country if he did listen. God even gave King Ahaz a sign to look for, a child, to show him the way. Isaiah said a child would be born and live with the people. His name would be Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. Then the people would know how much God loved them, and they would listen to God. King Ahaz crossed his arms and shook his head. Who was Isaiah to tell him what to do? I am the king, King Ahaz said. People listen to me. Why should I listen to you or to your God, Isaiah? King Ahaz did not listen to God, and soon things went very bad for King Ahaz. His crops dried up. There was very little food. Soon, his country was taken over by others. Other people, the Israelites, did listen to Isaiah. They remembered God's promise and waited many years for God's sign, Emmanuel, to be born. And do you know uh, uh, another name for Emmanuel? It's Jesus. Jesus is God's sign. Did you ever have a time where you didn't do what you were supposed to do? Maybe your mom and dad told you to pick up your toys and you didn't do it. Then if you continued to not do it, did things start to go badly for you? Did you get in trouble with your mom and dad? Yep, that happens. So it's very, very important to do the right thing, to do what your parents and your guardians tell you you should do, and also what God should tell you to do. Wow, what a story. Can you even imagine not listening to God? So we are going to sing a song. It's called All Night, All Day, Angels Watching Over Me. Because our next story is going to be about the angel Gabriel and how he spoke to Mary. Here's our song. Sing it. Angels watching over me. 
Sing with me. Get your angel wings. Hello, I'm Miss Mary, and I'm going to read you a story from the Spark Story Bible. It's called Angel's Visit. Mary was a young woman. She lived in a town called Nazareth and was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. One day, a tall and handsome man appeared in front of Mary. His clothes were brilliant white. His hair was dark and curly, and his eyes sparkled with lights. Mary knew this man must be an angel. Hello, Mary, he said. God is with you. Mary stepped backwards. His deep voice scared her. Don't be afraid, he said. God sent me to tell you that you're going to have a son who you'll name Jesus. He is going to be a very important person to many people. A son? But I'm not married yet, she said. How is this going to happen? The Holy Spirit will come to you, the angel said. Your son will be the son of God. The son of God? My son? Mary thought about all these things. It didn't seem possible, but she believed anything was possible for God and said, I am God's servant. I'll do whatever God says. But her mind was racing. What will Joseph think? Would he believe her? Mary was nervous. When Mary told Joseph about the angel and about giving birth to God's son, he did just what she was afraid he was still going to do. He didn't believe her. He talked about not marrying her anymore. Mary felt so sad, but she remembered what the angel said and she trusted God. The next day, something wonderful happened. Joseph came to her and said, an angel came to me in a dream. He said, Joseph, don't be afraid to make Mary your wife. She is going to have a son and you're going to name him Jesus. He's going to save people from their sins. Mary smiled a big smile. She was so happy that tears of joy filled her eyes and trickled down her cheeks. She felt Joseph's love again. I'm not scared for you to be my wife, Mary, he said. I'll be with you and we will name the boy Jesus. That's the end of that story. 
Well, how do you think you'd feel if an angel came and appeared to you and told you something? I think I'd be scared, first off, and then I'd stop and listen. And the angel's message is always one of love and peace and listening and doing God's will. So, uh, but that, that was a big job that the angel gave to Mary for her to have a baby and for her to raise it and for that baby to be God's son. My word, that she must have been awfully scared, but she had so much trust in God that she did it anyway. She trusted God her whole life. What a great story that was. Can you even imagine talking to an angel? Wow. And Mary and Joseph were told they're going to have baby Jesus. What a story. So that is so joyful, such good news. Our next song is Joy to the World. Get your dancing feet ready. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. J to the O to the Y. I got the J to the O. until we take our next breath. And we're going to do that two times. So we're gonna breathe in. Hold it. Two. Hold 
push it out. Hold it. Breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. Good. Now fold your hands and close your eyes. I'm going to pray with us and then we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer when you can open your eyes. Close your eyes. Dear God, all the animals are sleeping. The tree branches are bare. It's the quietest moment of the year. Please God, teach all of your children to live in peace and harmony at home and everywhere in the world. Amen. You can open your eyes and we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Good job. Our very last song is This Little Light of Mine, and we're going to sing that old familiar tune. Here it goes. with you today. I look forward to seeing you again in the coming weeks to learn more about baby Jesus and the wise men that brought him gifts. Remember that I love you and Jesus loves you. Go in peace.